ACU Open Day. Welcome everyone. Um, first of all, pop all, pop all your comments down below. Let us know any questions that you have about studying here, anything like that. We've got loads of uh, student ambassadors and teal t-shirts, jumpers. We've got Natalie. So if you see her around, she's from the BCU marketing team. Um, we are just, oh actually, let me introduce myself first. I'm Janet, uh, I'm from the VFX and uh, film um, course. I'm currently third year and we're just going to get started. So this is the BCU racing team. They actually placed 25th in our IMECI Formula Student 2019. It's open to all engineer students, even if you're doing civil engineering, this you can join. Um, oh. Going over to the t-shirts, guys. We've got free t-shirts for you. Come and pick them up. Nice and lovely green. Uh, this is the only faculty that's giving them out for free, so come and pick them up. Next one. We are going over all the STEM courses, leaflets. Again, come and pick one up. Um, you've got everything from computing, uh, engineering, built uh, environment, everything. Come and pick one up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> going over to the Live Sound Society. Hey, this is cool. Um, so actually, fun fact, um, the sound, the music, the music course, they have 100% student satisfaction uh, by the N, uh, NSS 2019. Um, yeah, so it's... Uh, oh, the National Student Satisfaction, that's it, I forgot just there. Um, but with the Live Sound Society, you have the chance to go to work on live gigs in Birmingham uh, and get loads of experience, get loads of practice. Uh, it's a really good opportunity, guys. We're going to go over to the orchard. Oh, I also forgot to mention, as a sound and music student, you can use this conservatoire. Um, now, this is the orchard. Uh, we've got the latest uh, Mac PCs. There's even a drum tank. So I actually used one of these for my module. Uh, we did Foley, we did Dialog. Uh, these computers have Logic Pro uh, softwares, and it's what I used for my assignment. I did uh, the sound for uh, Big Hero 6, which was really fun. Okay, we're now at MP252. Now, this is one of the many rooms that has all the softwares that you need, um, especially as a, vi a visual effects student. Um, this is an example of some of the work. Um, so you've got softwares from Maya, Houdini, Motion Builder, Nuke, Synthize for tracking. We've got 2.5D projections. Uh, really, really good stuff. Right. So now we're going to the park side. Yeah. Oh. Going to the park side to the green screen, going to show you everything while we walk in uh, towards that. I'm going to talk to you about societies. So there's a, over 100 of them, honestly, there's so many. Um, surely there's one that's that you're going to like. Um, there is all sorts of, so from academic, creative, volunteering, faith, LGBT societies. If you don't find a society that's right for you, you can create one. We actually created one for the visual effects. Um, so we created a visual effects society because there wasn't one. We thought it would be really nice. And we got to do really cool stuff um, in one of the studios, did some uh, workshops, worked with people from other courses in different years. It's a really good way to, to meet those people. We're now at Parkside. 
This is the Art and Design Media Faculty. Very creative building this is. I'm going to show you the social area. If the camera wants to flip, there we go. Social area, guys. Look, you've got Starbucks early mornings. You've got your coffee there sorted. We've got um, exhibitions that happen every now and then. Uh, like I said, very creative space. Parkside is. Yep. Okay. So now the exciting bit. We're going down to the studios. Green screen studios. But while we're doing that, I'm going to talk about me because I'm on the live chat, guys. Why not? Um, I actually, surprisingly, was very shy um, when I first started. Um, and if it wasn't for me taking baby steps, um, I didn't get to do all these things like live chat, um, which is a really cool opportunity. We are going to the film students, like uh, the film studios, like I said, um, it's industry standard studios. I'll show you. Got a couple of them that students can book. Studio A, really cool. I've used that studio. Um, nice open area here. Studio B, which is one of the UK's largest green studio. We've got all sorts of companies coming in here to film commercials. Um, don't know if you've noticed, we've got the Milo rig. I've used the Milo rig. Um, BBC Gadget Show are filmed in there. Amazing. They get students to um, act as runners for their commercials. Um, we used it for our VFX Society as well. Uh, so yeah, really cool stuff guys. Got the facilities here. Use them. <laughs> okay, back to me, obviously. <laughs> um, so like I said, um, I was very shy um, year one. And if it wasn't for me taking baby steps and talking to people, saying yes to opportunities, I wouldn't have done what I've done so far um, in one of those things was being a SAL student, which stands for... Just to let you guys know, signal might be going in and out, uh, just because we're going lift, up and lift and downstairs and stuff. So, Hey, hello again, guys. Right, back. We're back. And we're back at Parkside, uh, what we call the bridge. Got computers that you can loan with all the softwares that you need uh, to go and do your assignment. Uh, you can take them home. We've got Max here again um, for the design students, uh, ADM students, and then we've got um, the the Vona computers as well, which again I've used so many times for my assignments. Um, they've got Maya, Motion Builder, Nuke, Adobe, everything that you need to smash those assignments, guys. We're going to computing now. Yes, the computing floor with the networking labs. Um, fun fact, Millennium Point was originally built as a shopping mall and opened by the Queen. You don't get that many times, guys. It's really good. Um, I didn't know this, so it's a really cool fact. So, in terms of my course, um, by second year, I was involved in so much, being a SAL student, being an international buddy. Um, I even got to do stuff like Gradual Plus, which really helps you boost up your CV. We now got to the cyber security room. So, hey, hello. So this is the three networking labs. Um, and the important thing about this, we've got really strong links 
to Cisco and Microsoft. We're going to the games computer lab, which again is one of the rooms that I used a lot during my module. Say hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so in here we've got all sorts of stuff. Uh, GameCube, PS3, PS4, Xbox, um, Oculus, um, VR. Um, there is a module in my course that you work with game students, and it's such a cool um, project. Um, got Carlos as well, one of the lecturers, oh. Carlo. Um, he has been awarded for the Tiger Games Industry Award. It's really cool. Twice. Twice. Yep. <laughs> nice. Bye, bye. Thank you. So we're going level zero now, uh, which is the engineering workshops. The signal might go on this floor. So we have, oh, thanks guys, thanks for commenting. Great facilities, brilliant, yes, it's really, really good. Really good facilities, that's what sold me to this, coming to this university, was the facilities. Signal. We're back again. <laughs> so uh, we are uh, in the engineering workshops. This is a social area where you can work together in joint projects, uh, like the Engineering Without Borders competition. Um, so it's a chance to apply your knowledge to real world problems. It looks really good on your CV. This is one of the CAD uh, lab experiments. It uses CAD software. And now we're going to go to the uh, makers area. So here they, um, they've got rapid prototype, uh, pro prototyping um, equipment with X, Y, and Z machinery. Uh, and just at the back there, 3D printers. So any of the engineering students can use these, these machineries. Have you guys got any questions? Oh, thank you, you're so kind. <laughs> what was that, a uh, bright man? Thanks for that. Thanks for all the comments, guys. We've got the electronic lab. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, so here you can make a um, host of electronic, uh, le electrical, um, electrical components. I can't talk today. Um, let me show you around. More computers. And this is the electronics lab. Again, I've used this this room. Uh, I've used these machines for my research and testing methods. So even though I'm a VFX student, I've been using the facilities, all the facilities, pretty much. And we've got the soldering lab here as well. Okay. So there's... <gasps> yeah, we're back again! Oh my goodness, I promise this wasn't happening earlier. Um, back to me again. Um, so I'm actually a commuting student. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it's hard, but you, you can make it work. 60% um, of our students are commuters. And from my, from my personal experience, I've managed to get firsts. Uh, I was actually awarded um, for being an outstanding student, so don't let that be uh, um, yeah. We are on level four now. Uh, this is our built environment courses. So we teach um, courses from architectural technology 
to quantity surveying. The most important thing about this, it's accredited by professional bodies, uh, CIOB, CIAT, RICS, RTPI. Um, so it's really good. Um, it gives you, gives you jobs. Gives you jobs. We've got lovely uh, high vis hard hats so so you can visit the sites live but yeah once again massive open space I've, I've used this um, for group work everything like that um, hello but yeah I've got another open space for you to come and do your work um, but yeah that's it guys that's the tour thank you so much um, for joining me again I'm Janet don't forget to comment down below any questions. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. We'll try and get back to you. Come to an open day. That's what I found most important about um, when I was choosing university. This is what made me choose this university because I came to the open day. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.